Okay, I'm about to unbox my Xavier Tonewood acoustic electric guitar that I bought from Guitar Fetish. I always watch people when they unbox different guitars, so I thought I would unbox this one. I've seen a couple reviews of different guitars from Guitar Fetish, so I'll give, after I open this up, see what I got, make sure I actually got a guitar, and then I'll give you an overview of what the guitar is. So right now, let's unbox it, see. When you order from Guitar Fetish, you can order it with a case or without, and they highly recommend that you order it with a case. So I did, it comes with a hard case, so I'll review that as well. You can get an idea for how well packed or how poorly packed the guitar is from this video. The case I ordered was called a linen linen case, but it's not really linen, it's, it's the uh, Totex, but it's made to look like linen. Let's see how it looks. So far, it is a guitar case. Let's see if there's a guitar inside it. It is packed very, very firm. I had to give that a serious pull to uh, get it out. So the guitar packing on it was very, very good. Um, right now, I mean, it feels, without looking inside, it feels pretty good. Buckles lock nicely and they also um, unlock quickly and loosely. So, so far, it's a nice case. Handle looks like it's on pretty well made. Happy with that. Just one more buckle on the back here. So here is the guitar that I bought. It's their Tonewood series from Xavier. What I like about it is it's a concert shape. The other guitars that I have are dreadnought shape. This is this is a like a grand auditorium concert guitar. The case is nice. There's nice padding in the case, and there's uh, you know it fits it, it fits a dreadnought guitar, but it also fits this style guitar. Um, so right now I'm just gonna show you up close what the guitar is like. The headstock has a wood on top of the, the head, so it's two-tone wood there. It has gold tuners on it. They're a Xavier brand. The Xavier logo is not a sticker. It's an inlay of wood inside the headstock. It comes strung with Xavier strings. I'm sure they're cheap quality strings. It is a natural bone nut on the guitar. Natural bone inlays on the guitar, which is nice. I'm sorry, natural wood inlays on the guitar, not bone, sorry about that. Um, it's got natural wood binding. Wow, that fits in there very, very nice. Let me take this out so I can put it on the, uh, I'll put it, uh, take it out of the case and put it to where you can see it uh, uh, sitting free. Okay, so about this guitar, it has a solid Sitka spruce top. It's got wood bindings. They call this an all wood guitar because of the wood bindings. You can see they use wood bindings on the neck and wood bindings on the body. It's got a dark wood binding. I've seen some models that have lighter wood binding on it. And it's got a carve out for your arm made of mahogany. So that's a, that's a camfered edge here for more comfort while you're playing the guitar, which is nice. It's got walnut sides and a walnut back. I think the sides in the back are maybe laminate. The top is solid spruce. So let's look at the top real quick. Try to get a close up of that to see if it's solid. And I can see that it is. Interesting wood tone on the bridge plate. Um, it's a natural bone saddle, so that's a nice feature. Probably plastic um, string pegs here, but it's got a nice bridge plate on it. Interesting tone there. Um, if you look at the, 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 the sides of the guitar, 
Again, it's a wood binding on the sides pulled together. There's the outlet for the electrical plug-in. What's cool about this guitar is that it has the piezo under the saddle, but it should also have, and I hope it does, a microphone. Yes, it does. It has a microphone inside. So you can either use the microphone or use the piezo or blend both of them together. So we'll show you, with, we'll play them through an amp later and show you what um, that plays like. Okay, it's a light guitar, it's very light. So, um, wow, very light. I'm amazed how light it is. You can see from a distance, it's got some really pretty tone, uh, tone wood. It's, uh, I got this in the uh, black walnut, but there's different backs and sides that you can pick from, zebra wood, different ones, um, spalted maple, flamed maple. It's got a skunk stripe in the back of the neck, which is nice. It's a glossy neck, so I have to put some oil on that. But um, even the even the neck uh, joint it is nicely done. Um, so it's got the skunk neck. That's interesting. It's got some stickers here, and some are not stickers. So I'm going to take those stickers off, of course. Grab that piece of fuzz off of that. But uh, gold tuners, we'll see. I, I, all the reviews said that the, car, the guitar stays in tune nicely. And if you look here, it's got the thumb <laughs> thumb pyramid there where you can put your thumb there for comfort while you're playing. Um, interesting feature. My other guitars don't have that, but I've seen that on some Washburns and some Martins and other guitars. So we'll see how that is and we'll check that out. I'm gonna tune this up and let's look at the, let's look at the back. It has a cutaway, which gives you access to the higher frets, which is nice. I'm tr gonna try to get a close up to look at the finish of the guitar to see how that is. And looking closely at it, the, the finish is good. I don't see, I don't see any blemishes, any bubbles, anything in the finish that sometimes you hear about or, or, or read about on a guitar. Um, it's, it's a glossy finish. So I don't know if that's going to wear in and smooth out or just get sticky, but we can address that. Or see how that feels after playing the guitar for a while, how that shoulder feels when it's camfered like that. I've seen that on Greenfield guitars and liked it and thought it was cool. And this Xavier model has that. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I ordered it. Um, the neck and the, the neck is mahogany and the, and the um, black walnut matches okay. It's, it's a good match. The dark wood, Matches nice too. Um, the rosette, it's a wood rosette with an abalone inlay for the sound hole. And they do a nice job. Everything there is done nicely. Let me take a look real quick at the action on this guitar so you can see how the action looks. Okay, so this is at the 12th fret, and uh, here's the 12th fret right here. And the action needs a little bit of an adjustment, but that's okay. If you look at the saddle on the guitar, there's a lot of room to adjust that, um, and there's a truss rod as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and tune this up, see how that looks. I'm not gonna do any uh, adjustments yet. I just wanna see how the frets play. And um, actually, before we tune it up, let me check out, I've heard reviewers say, that the strings kind of feel gross, and that the uh, and that the frets feel rough. So, I mean, they don't feel terrible. I could probably, when I do put new strings on, I'll probably um, condition these frets a little bit and put some steel wool on them and shine them up and then I'll probably adjust the saddle. So check out my other videos because uh, I've never done things like this before. I'm just kind of guessing my way around it after watching some YouTube videos. I'm gonna try to get a close up of the frets. Um, as I said before, and you can see, there is a wood binding <clears throat> um, on, the, on the neck and the frets. They look like they're finished fairly well. I mean, when I feel it, I don't really feel any rough spots. So they did finish the, the frets. 
and dress them so that they feel pretty good. Um, I'll see when I'm playing. Pe people that have reviewed this guitar, let me, let me check the, the nut here. Sometimes the nut feels rough and it feels a little bit rough. I could probably get an emery board and just kind of surround, round those over a little bit. Sometimes you feel that when you're playing as well. And sometimes you feel sharp edges on the frets when you're playing, so I'll check that out. The nut is narrow. It's narrower than normal guitars. It's almost like the size of a mini guitar. So we'll see when I'm playing it if I notice that as well. So uh, stay tuned. And in sticking with the tone wood motif of this guitar, the um, guitar label inside the body is made of wood. So that's something that's pretty cool. When I look inside the guitar, and I'll try to bring you with me, I don't see a ton of glue squeeze out or glue overspill. So that's probably a good thing. And I also see the bracing there. Um, and the bracing looks like it's done right. It's brought to a cone at the top. It's a sharp cone at the top and then it gets thicker at the bottom to provide the right type of stability for the guitar. So hopefully, um, you know, it's an instrument that's gonna stay together for a little bit. We'll see. Uh, price for this guitar with the shipping and with the case was $400. So it's a $320 guitar and then you buy the case and you get the shipping and you get this for $400. Um, looking at the, I'm just trying to check to see if it's book matched and it looks like they did book match the, the back of the guitar, um, which is cool. You can see it how it comes to a point here in the green and comes to a point here in the green. So that, that, that's nice. It's, it's nice when they book match things like that. Um, the green should probably be straight around the guitar. This one is a little bit swirly. So in terms of quality of wood, it could probably be a little bit better, but I don't think that's going to affect much. And in looking at this, it looks like they have a book matched Looks like the inside is book matched as well, which has me wondering if that's a standard process for all types of woods or just, just you know, solid wood or if that's a standard process for um, plywood. So if you know, please comment below. I'd like to, to get your comments on that. Okay, so I tuned the guitar up and when I went to Put a battery in. I got a battery ready to put in the guitar. Um, when I opened up the slot here, and I'll just show you, this is how you open it. You take your fingernail and put it into that little lever, and that opens up this this uh, sleeve, and that's where you plug in a nine volt battery, which is pretty cool. But when I opened this, I was able to pull out a nine volt battery that they supply. It is not an Ever Energizer. It's not an Ever Ready. It's not a Duracell, but I think it'll work. I'm going to unwrap it, hook it up to this uh, terminal, get it back in there, and uh, see how this sounds under the, with the amp. Okay, I hope you can hear me, but uh, I am set up in my basement. I have my Jens Benz 100 acoustic guitar amp. I don't have it turned on right now because I'm just going to play the guitar uh, without the um, amplification, just to show you how the guitar plays. Um, I've been playing it now for eh, 20 minutes. I tuned it up. It does stay in tune, so the tuners are not great, but they're they're not like Grovers, but they're they do their job. That the, the guitar stays in in tune. So I'll play a little bit so you can hear how it sounds. I don't know if the microphone on my iPhone is going to do this justice. I never had a lesson. I had a lesson when I was nine years old, I guess. But the guy said I'll never be a guitar player, and um, told my father that he wouldn't come back to give me lessons. So that's the extent of the lessons that I received. But um, here goes a little bit of playing for you, just to, and I'm just gonna bang out chords just so you can hear how the guitar sounds.
sounds good. It's, it, 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 it holds its tune. Um, the action's a little high here, so it might go a little sharp up here, but I'll do a setup on this later. Um, it plays it plays fine. I mean, it plays like a guitar. Uh, sounds like a guitar should sound. Um, we're going to try it through the um, amplifier and see what we get. There's a mixer here to switch it from the piezo amp to the microphone amp. There's a microphone amp that's attached to the electronics board up top. Um, I was drawing feedback with the microphone. So let's turn this on and see what we have. Volume check. This right now, this is just with the piezo. So give you a, give you a sense of what that kind of sounds like. Turn the mic on too, why not? One, two. Turn the microphone. I'm going to blend the microphone up. You do get feedback. You hear the feedback coming? So the microphone definitely is drawing feedback. Definitely. With any, with any volume at all, the microphone draws feedback. with the microphone up. So that's one knock against the electronics on this. Um, I'm gonna try covering this with a sound hole. The microphone is inside there. I don't know if that's gonna internalize that microphone and make it draw more feedback or if it's gonna help. But I'm gonna pause the video and um, come back when I have my sound hole uh, attachment on the sound hole of the guitar. Okay, we're back and uh, I did put a loot hole, loot sound hole on the guitar. Um, one, it makes the guitar look a little better maybe, but also hopefully it should control the feedback. Um, playing. But that's just with the piezo. So I'm gonna turn the microphone up and see if it draws the feedback like it did last time. It does, I mean, I'm halfway into the blend, 
and I'm getting feedback. So um, I don't think it's a microphone. I'm going to turn the microphone off and see if that is causing the issue. So the microphone completely down. Let me see. <laughs> feedback regardless of whether I cover the sound hole or not. So I'm going to keep experimenting. Turn the microphone back up. One, two. I'll keep experimenting with that to see if I can figure out the right combination or if you want to comment and let me know what you think about how to get the microphone to work, um, to blend properly. But right now, I would say that only the piezo is, is worth using because I'm not getting any kind of good results from the microphone. And maybe it's a treble, middle, bass type of adjustment, both on the uh, guitar itself or on the amplifier. But we can, um, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I'll try anything short of breaking my guitar. And uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Um, So this guitar, it's it's a nice guitar. I mean, it, it definitely plays well. It stays in tune. I, the, the neck was nice and straight. There was a, just the slightest little bit of bow or relief in the neck, um, what you want in an acoustic guitar. Um, the action, the saddle's a little high, and I think I can take that saddle down a little bit and make the guitar action a little bit better, make it play a little bit better. Um, but um, all in all, I, I mean, I'm very happy with this guitar. It, it, it plays well, the, 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 the neck is nice, um, the, the bone saddle and bone nut are nice, it sounds like a guitar, it stays in tune. The arch here, the, 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 the camfered edge here, is extremely comfortable. It's extremely comfortable to play and have that in your arm like that. Um, it, just, it just fits very nicely. Um, so I would, I would recommend this guitar um, to Beginners and, and, and intermediate players, if you're an advanced player and have the $400 and want to try it out, um, fine, or $400 is a banger guitar for you, maybe pick this up. Very curious to see how this sounds with some D'Addario strings on it and not the guitar fetish strings that came on this guitar. So if you want, send me a comment and I will set this up, get the action down lower, restring this with some D'Addario strings. I'm probably going to oil the neck and the bridge plate, and I'm going to do some uh, steel wool on the frets before I restring it. So if you want me to videotape my process and how I work through that, I'm happy to do that for you. Just leave some comments. But uh, all in all, uh, it was a nice Christmas present that I gave myself, and um, the case is extremely nice, the guitar is extremely nice, the low price is extremely nice. The guitar shipped fast, um, shipped in about a month. Um, so I was happy about that as well. Um, ask me any questions. I'm happy to try to answer any questions you might have. But uh, 
I hope this review um, was better than my playing, but I hope the review was uh, something you enjoyed. And if you're in the market for a guitar, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful guitar. It is, it is, it, it feels well made for a right out of the box, day one. And uh, it just feels comfortable and lightweight. Um, everything's there. The electronics are a little suspect. Um, I think they make a acoustic only version of this. And if you are handy with a rotary or a skill saw, and you want, or a, uh, like, a, like a roto zip, and you want to make your own electronics, that might be a better route. You could put a Fishman in here or something like that and have this guitar just be stellar. Um, these electronics are suspect. I'm gonna have this guitar for about a month or so. If I really love this guitar and really want to fix the electronics on it, I might even upgrade it and put a Fishman in or something like that. The guitar is that nice. But I do think the electronics are the worst part about this guitar. They're, if I were to score everything, high marks for everything, probably an average or so marks for the for the electronics. Um, it's it's just it's not up to the, up to par with the rest of the guitar, and it's not up to par with the quality of the case either. So the like the electronics are the one downfall. Okay, um, through the piezo it sounded fine. Hopefully my phone uh, picked that up for you, but the microphone is like a like a non-starter. You just can't use the microphone on it. Okay, so I hope that helped. Um, please leave me any comments. I appreciate you watching. I have other guitars in my collection that I need to work on. They're old and they're tired, and I need to freshen them up. So click on some of my other videos and uh, follow me along. I don't, I, I'm not a luthier. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna stumble my way through it based on watching some videos from, from other people that seem to know what they're doing. So hopefully you'll join me and give me any pointers as we go along. Thanks for watching and uh, take care of yourself and play on.